अहम ब्रह्मास्म Nityanand guys, welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashiva. Uh, in yesterday's satsang, Swamiji was talking about the essence of his life is unclutching. So he said he invited each one of us to share about unclutching and, um, and enrich the world about this principle of unclutching. So I'm going to share... Uh, the first kind of how I related, or how I relate, I mean, I still relate to unclutching in that way um, also, at least mainly, I would say. So what is unclutching for me? What is my experience of unclutching? Swamiji was saying in a yoga satsang that um, you do not merge with the divine. Divine lands in you and takes over. Paramashiva takes over. Actually, my experience of unclutching and how I related to it, actually I related, I experienced unclutching even before meeting Swamiji, even before being introduced um, with Swamiji. Of course, it happened a very uh, few uh, number of times because it just somehow happened. Like it was not, uh, I, I don't know how, it was an accident basically. And uh, for me, unclutching, so first I'll just explain the basics of unclutching, right? So when you have a car, you have a clutch. When you're clutch means you're holding on to something. So when you're clutched, you're holding on. So for instance, you have thoughts, you hold on to that thought and that thought brings you from one thought to another thought to another thought and then you have this shaft of thoughts or chains of thoughts which happens and then you're stuck in your own um, thought currents. So because you are clutched. Unclutch refers to unclutching. So thought comes, thought goes, it's gone. Thought comes, thought goes, it's gone. There's no holding on to any thoughts. Um, like Swamiji was saying, unclutching is like the ocean of consciousness. Thoughts are like fishes. Uh, fishes jumping out of the water, sorry. They're just jumping out of the water randomly, out of nowhere. There's no, there's no logic in the way that the mind functions. That happens. But the mind, uh, like I shared in some other videos also, is so anxious about the future, that fear of the future, anxiety about the future is so intense that it al always tries to grab and, and control and possess everything that happens. So the mind sees fishes jumping out of the, of the sea, out of nowhere, out of the water, and he tries, he starts to create his own algorithm. Oh, see, this pattern of this fish jumping there and doing this and doing that. And this is where the next fish is coming. And it's like <laughs> all your lifetime and energy gets sucked into this stupid mind behavior, which is rooted in intense fear and insecurity about life and you and everything. And you just try to control and possess and try to understand everything, which is completely silly. Fishes are coming out of the water spontaneously as per Paramashiva's will. And your logic can never understand Paramashiva's will. Only when you surrender to Paramashiva and you experience Paramashiva, then only any form of understanding can happen. But it will not be an understanding as, as we understand it now. Like if Swamiji was saying, right? I have a logic, I have a mind, but... What I refer to as logic and mind has nothing to do with what you refer to as logic and mind. So our understanding of mind and our understanding of logic has nothing to do with Paramashiva's logic and Paramashiva's mind. It's totally different. They work from a different principle. And basically the fundamental, fundamental thing is that Paramashivoham experience. So first you have to cognize Paramashivoham as a cognition. And you have to operate from there. Then only then that knowledge can be given to you. But the mind will constantly try to possess. So unclutching means instead of trying to understand why fishes are coming out of the sea like this, like that, and what is the pathway, and what is the algorithm, and what is the formula, and what is this, what is next, where is the next fish coming, where is... Instead of going into this whole intense, uh, meaningless uh, drama, unclutch. Recently, Swamji was saying zoom out. I felt that's also unclutching. Just unclutch. Allow the happening to happen. Don't cling on to it, come trying to possess it like a, 
Like we have a wonderful example, Gulum, Gulum in the Lord of the Ring, right? He's like, my precious. So possessive, it's intense. And the way he is depicted is, uh, is very nicely done. We can see how the possessiveness and the ugliness of possessiveness, right? When you become so possessive, you become so ugly. There is no grace in you because there is so much fear because you do not know about the truth of existence. You were not introduced to Hinduism and the principles of Hinduism. Paramashivoham, Aham Brahmasmi, Tattvamasi. All these Mahavakyas are there for you to realize that there is no, there is nothing to be afraid of. But when you are not introduced and initiated into these Mahavakyas, then you are stuck and you live your life like Gulum, but maybe not as intensely as him because he's pretty intense. But deep down, that intensity is there. So we have to drop it. So we have to unclutch. So my experience of unclutching is, initially I was thinking merging, but then I was thinking, but Swamiji said merging is not right. Then I thought, yes, that is not right actually. That is not how I experience it. I don't experience like I'm merging. I experience like I am disintegrating or dissolving. It's like this Paramashiva, this huge space which cannot be directly experienced by the senses but which is very much present and very much powerful that space just takes over and that is why I also felt very connected with Shiva and Basma because the fire just turns everything to ashes it's all it's almost something like that that I experience it's like unclutching it's like letting the fire consume you and just coming back to that 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 space and losing all the qualities which are happening because of the uh, physical identity so for me i would say today unclutching it's like a dissolving i dissolve into paramashiva into the cosmos i disintegrate into him i i that's also how i experience surrender actually if i were to put a visual thing it would be like that i just visualize me just disintegrating just I don't know how to say, disintegrating into Paramashiva. <laughs> so, yes, guys, unclutching is very important. Any problem you face in life, first response is unclutch. Don't clutch. If you clutch, you will go for a ride, a roller coaster ride handled by the one and only mind. The mind, the ultimate mind, not so ultimate, but who pretends to be ultimate. And he will take you for a ride. And a ride that you will not forget. Uh, so yes, with that being said, uh, that is the main thing for this video. Unclutch. Remember to watch the videos of Swamiji talking about unclutching. Type Nityananda Unclutch on YouTube. There are many, many videos where Swamiji expands on this, this great principle of unclutching. Swamiji was sharing in yesterday's satsang that... If I had a mind, I would have had nervous breakdown nervous breakdown long time back. I did the kind of life I led and the kind of persecution I'm going through long time back, I would have collapsed. But because I know unclutching, that is the only reason why I'm still here. Because I don't have mind, because I have unclutching. So unclutching is very powerful. So with this guys, I thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, Paramashivoham, Aham Brahmasmi.